Hey, good afternoon. It's another rainy day here in Oregon, and I want to make a quick video about my Super Pacific X1 camper. It's made here uh, actually in Oregon and Portland, just a little north of here. And um, anyway, I really like it so far, but I haven't had a chance to use it a whole lot because I've been fitting out the back with the uh, heater and battery and some stored shelves and stuff like that. I want to make a quick video to show you some of those changes and even though um, I probably have a few more little details I need to wrap up and whatnot, I just wanted to show you what I've done so far. This isn't intended to be a review or anything like that, just kind of where I'm at with my build. So let's get to it. All right, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and give you a quick walk around and show you some of the details. Okay, guys, so one of the first things that I did was I actually replaced this piece of trim that's on the, the top of the tailgate. And the reason I did that is because I just wanted the, the top hatch to be able to close and not uh, not have any issues there. The Gladiator actually has a lip there on the original trim piece, um, so it's hard to close that upper gate over the top of it. So as you can see now, it's like almost perfectly flat. And that's basically just a piece of, uh, it's a quarter inch piece of ABS, and when the top closes now, or the back hatch, it has a really nice fit. So I know Super Pacific, um, they actually reached out uh, not too long ago and said they were kind of working on a, some uh, test pieces, but for now that's what I did. Um, I've got this strap right here that's basically just a tie down strap that i cut and then that's so i can close the tailgate while i'm inside so these storage things are made out of a steel frame it's one inch square tube and i welded those together and then just skinned them with aluminum and i wanted to put some hatch doors on the back side so that um, number one, I could just access stuff that, you know, I might want to just grab out of there. So, you know, for now I've got, uh, you know, like a glove, a pair of gloves. I've got a light. I've got the pump for the mattress up top. I've got a dustpan and broom there, PP lantern, and uh, that's where the diesel heater is too. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. And... On the other side, it's basically the same way. On this side, I've just got some paper towels, some more TP, and some um, dish towels and whatnot. So as far as the flooring, it's um, 5 8 inch plywood, and then I covered it with basically a, it's a horse stall mat, so... That thing is like, I don't know how thick, but maybe almost an inch. And then I just bought a runner carpet that's 24 by 60 from, from Home Depot. When I built the um, these storage things, I wanted to have a place to tie stuff down. So on each side, I've got these 
D rings, um, both in the back and up towards the front. And that's so I can secure stuff. This right here is the outlet for the heater. And right up in front there, I've got my portable toilet. And then I've got a table that's, I think it's four by four. Uh, excuse me, it's two by four when it opens up. So. I'm going to get situated and I'll show you inside and show you the heaters here in just a minute. All right, so we're in the back of the camper now, and I just want to show you these storage things that I made. Basically, this is just plywood covered in carpet, <clears throat> and then the bottom has another piece of plywood that's uh, it's both glued on with liquid nails and then it's screwed on and then it's kind of buried but basically the diesel heater is underneath this piece of sheet metal and then the hose goes under another piece of sheet metal and comes out there for the warm air the inlet's going to be on the right side and then of course the diesel fuel tank and then some of the electrical so i've got a couple 150 amp breakers and then i've got a little fuse panel there for all my 12 volt accessories which right now only consists of um, basically the heater and then the battery monitor and I've got a 12 volt outlet that's actually been up in that corner up there. So in this front section right here that is a 200 amp hour battery and then <clears throat> That is actually a 110 volt to 12 volt uh, charger. And then below that is a 60 amp DC to DC charger. So with the 60 amp charger, I can basically charge this big 200 amp hour battery while I'm driving the Jeep. <clears throat> All right. So in there, I've got some um, recovery gear just basically a couple um, soft shackles and then a tree saver and then a kinetic rope um, that's all in there accessible from the side so that's kind of nice I'll put this back all oops on here oh also so I've got this plug here and basically that's so um, I can plug in like a um, 115 volt heater if I go to a state park or something like that. And on the outside of the Jeep, there's to the right of the license plate, there's a basically a waterproof plug. So I plug in a cord on the outside and it gives me power there. And also the um, that is wide off into the charger I showed you just a minute ago. So um, again, I mentioned there's a table and my toilet and actually behind that table is my camp stove. So I mounted the controller for the heater and also the battery monitor up Kind of, I guess it would be at the bottom of the tent or the top of the canopy, depending on how you're looking at it. But I did that so basically you can reach it when you're in bed and you can see how much battery you have left. You can see what the temperature is. You can turn the heater on and off if you want. Hope that makes sense. All right, so on the other side, the passenger side of the Jeep here, 
Um, basically, I have the same type of setup where I can just remove the lid. Now, on this front storage area, there's actually a plywood shelf in there that's removable. And below that shelf, I've got um, my, I have a bottle jack and uh, a bag of tools and stuff that hopefully I don't have to access very often. So that's kind of why I buried it down there. I tried to keep the stuff that I access all the time on top. <clears throat> so this is going to mainly be, you know, kitchen stuff and cooking stuff. So, you know, everything from propane to paper plates to pots and pans to tin foil, garbage bags. And then back here, this is kind of a mess right now. Um, but again, just more stuff you would probably use in the kitchen. Right down there, I'm also going to carry a small electric heater so that if I do go to a state park, I can just use that heater. Um, and then, of course, fire extinguisher back there. I should probably make that a little more accessible. Um, anyway, we'll put that back on. Oops. Sorry, my I'm not driving very well with my gimbal here. So I just want to show you that plug I was talking about on the back of the Jeep here. Basically, you can plug an extension cord in there and then gives you power inside the Jeep for, like I said, um, charging the battery uh, or running a heater or whatever. Now, one thing I don't have yet is any lights. So if anybody has any ideas on lights, I would be grateful if you could make some suggestions. Now, someone was asking some detailed questions about the heater, and I basically ran the exhaust right down through the floor, and um, also the intake is kind of up under where the spare tire is. So I will do my best to try to uh, manipulate the camera so you can see up there. Okay, well, that's the best I can do without crawling on the ground. So one thing I did is I removed the back seats of my Gladiator and I, I built a shelf system that basically sits up a little higher than the normal um, shelves that people put in here. And that's because I wanted to make the most of the space back here and the lower the shelf is, the smaller the objects are you can fit under it. So I went with a 60-40 traditional split and my fridge is over there and that's not going to be tilted up most of the time because the fridge is on it. But this side, basically I can just swing it up and I have some uh, stuff stored under there already. but. Basically, I've got my air compressor and then my air compressor hoses, another strap, some water, some chairs, and then the battery over there is basically a EcoFlow battery, and that plugs into this 115 volt outlet so that when you're driving, it just, I don't even have to turn it on, it just starts charging, so that's cool. Um, the Dometic is a, um, it's the 45 size. I don't know if that's probably quartz or something. And then just in the back here, I've got, those are the poles for my awning. And then that's a shower surround or privacy surround. And the remote for my winch. And then behind that, there's socket set and some cleaner and whatnot. So the position and where I store things may change over time here, but 
for now this is what I'm going to go with um, until I test things out. Okay, so it's starting to get a little bit windy, so hopefully you can hear me. Just a few more of the basics on my Jeep. It's a 2022 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, and I put on a Metal Cloak Game Changer 3.5 inch lift. I'm also running 38 inch Milestar Patagonia tires, and I replaced the front bumper with a narrower bumper and a 10,000 pound winch. Uh, anyway, this is kind of a down and dirty video, so um, hopefully next time I'll actually be out using my camper somewhere instead of at a local park. It's literally Sunday and I've got to work tomorrow and I just finished the build earlier today so I wanted to get together a video. I am excited about using it and making some more uh, content with it. Anyway, have a good afternoon.